Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Hellgate London. My name is Wilfred. So this is the London 2038 version, which is the mod that transformed the original game into a multiplayer um, episode. And also, this is not a Steam version. So if you play Steam, uh, you will not be able to um, install this mod to play the multiplayer version or more importantly this version is the most uh, fun and stable version that um, you know some of the mod creator has uh, still upkeep this game after the game has uh, gone offline for quite some time uh, with the Helge London took over by the Korean um, company so it is really fun it is really good and uh, I've got my copy from eBay uh, install it and uh, you know it works uh, the key works as well so the game doesn't really uh, verify whether your license key has been used or whatnot uh, but in any case what I've done is that um, I bought one original version uh, I used to have one as well uh, it was a Southeast Asia version which unfortunately not able to patch up uh, enough to install the mod so I bought the US version of the game. Now enough of that, um, I've been uh, playing on and off for quite some time, so often I'm being distracted to go into the Hell Rift. Um, the fun thing about Hell Rift is that there's a lot of loot and a lot of good loot. I love good loot as well, but the problem is that every time when I start the game I got into a Hell Rift and it took me a while to get through two levels sometimes. Uh, in this particular episode I've recorded one level which is kind of a blessing because if anything more than that I will just get tired and uh, stop playing uh, but yeah I mean uh, it's good uh, Hell Reef is fun I've got like um, one level of it and after that I press on and continue and, uh, and, and continue playing so now the, the Hellgate London 2038 mod uh, is very much uh, very faithful to the original game now of course it doesn't have the Hellgate Tokyo, uh, but it does have all the rest of the expansion all the way up. Now I've played the uh, the Steam version, which is very much the uh, Tokyo version, and I've played this version. Uh, there are bits and pieces that I found, you know, the uh, the 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 Steam version in Hellgate London doesn't really have it. Uh, like for example, this particular episode whereby um, I got the control for kind of like uh, beings, I would say, and uh, to play a little bit of uh, you know with without me being on the ground just uh, controlling four of them I do not know whether it, this is was this was in the original game or not because I think some of you who has been a big fan of Hellgate London probably would be able to um, have a better kind of like <laughs> uh, kind of like understanding compared to me but uh, it's kind of fun um, the, the, the only thing is that there's no loot but I've got to control like four people uh, trying to get through reminds me a little bit of the um, you know world of warcraft when sometimes you've got to control some of these like mini games and and do a bit of like uh you know cut the cover or call in the air support or just target a boss or heal kind of thing so yeah i mean it's more or less like a mini game a top-down version it's kind of fun i mean can you imagine if the um, you know Helga london were to play in this mode it's almost like a diablo 3 or diablo in general because um, in a way, the, the difference between Hellgate London and the Diablo, Diablo game is that Hellgate London uh, is, is very much um, like a 3D kind of thing. You know, you, you've got mods that fly everywhere. By the way, this is the part whereby I enter into the mind of the, uh, the 3 on 4 and uh, I need to get to the limit of the imagination. Uh, this is not new to me. Um, I've played the Steam version. I've got through that part as well, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> one tip is that uh, in order to get to the, uh, the the limit of the imagination, just keep turning right. I would say every junction they get to, into, there is a big chunk of mobs, and uh, then after that you take them down, and then keep right and keep right and keep right. So now, uh, the good thing is that I've got a chance to complete this uh, this act. I believe uh, end of act two. I think um, quite, not quite sure. I think at the end of the video, you probably see that the bit of it. Um, so I've got to, you know, get to that, finish one ad, and I got to continue another ad, and uh, all these things going to take a while because, um, well, unfortunately, I don't really have uh, have the, you know, kind of like focus to to just play one game through and throughout, and uh, I usually play a little bit of it, and after that, um, 
you know, just take it easy a bit and play other games and so on. So I, right now I'm playing a couple of games. As you guys know, I, I'm full time on Diablo 3. Um, I'm part time on the uh, Path of Exile. I also look into the Green Dawn, the Reign of Terror mod that, mod that um, transformed the game into, uh, into the uh, D2 kind of setting. And, uh, and above all this, I've played other kind of like new games on Steam and uh, last but not the least, uh, Hellgate London is always something that I, you know, enjoy playing once in a while. Now this is the, uh, the, the boss time. Um, I think the Steam version was a little bit more scarier. Uh, it doesn't seem that this guy is doing a lot of damage on me. Maybe I'm just too high level compared to this guy. I, mean, I think the, uh, the boss is level 17 and I'm pretty sure I'm higher, much higher than the level 17 right now because you know the, the progress has been rather slow I would say uh, for, for my character. No, no fault of mine, I just play through a game, sometimes I repeat the, the, the map and so on and so forth and uh, this is the part whereby I got to meet the father. Um, so for, for those who have who has played through the uh, Hellgate London and those of you who has um, you know, follow me when I was playing the Steam version. You probably know the spoiler part of it. You meet the father, meet the mother, meet the sister, and so on. And after that, um, I really don't know where the story goes. Um, so I, I would say, I mean, you know, game wise, the uh, the the Helga London is really fun. A lot of uh, very uh, interesting kind of like a mechanic to it. Uh, pretty interesting classes. Some are pet class like the hunter as well as the. Uh, I can't remember what's the other one. That's more like summoner, and uh, and and there's of course a melee character as well, which I have not played at all. And my favorite is the evoker. One day I may go back to it. Um, I don't know when I can finish this. Uh, this 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 engineer or whatever it is. All right. So now um, a little bit of the uh, you know the scene on the tube. Uh, I know some of you are. Now, Tajik, uh, maybe don't have, don't bother to install the game, but uh, you don't mind seeing part of it, um, you know, from time to time. And this is the end of the uh, the ad two, I believe. And uh, well, thank you for tuning in. I don't know, I may do a little bit more health than uh, as the time goes by. Do send me any uh, invite or any comments below, and I'll do my best to uh, <laughs> to do something for you guys. All right, see you next time. Goodbye.